Hey, what's happening? So Liverpool are terrible at transfers. The Virgil van Dijk thing has been an absolute unmitigated disaster. Mohamed Salah is the most drawn out transfer in the history of the world. Naby Keita, what's happened to him? Where's the potential move for him gone? Oxley chamberlain where's the court of him gone? Julian Brandt wants to stay at Leverkusen. Pulisic wants to stay at Dortmund. Dahoud's chosen Dortmund as well. And essentially all we've done is sign some kids who couldn't get in Chelsea's team for a couple of million quid that could end up being like 10. Everything is fucked. <laughs> and meanwhile, look at our rivals. Look what everyone else who's challenging for those similar positions to us or above is doing in the transfer market. Man City have gone out and bought Bernardo Silva and Edison for what, 70, 80 million pounds? Boxed off, sorted. Everton have gone out and bought three players in three days, spending the best part of 60, 70, 80 plus million pounds. Manchester United have gone and signed a centre half, or being in a team that was really good defensively last season. And they let, they've let Ibrahimovic go, but they've not bought anyone to sort the fact that they don't score goals. Arsenal have signed Sayer Kolasnic on a free transfer. Sound business. The sound piece of business. Tottenham Hotspur have signed. Oh, Spurs have signed no one. Okay. But Chelsea, who won the title, have got all the money in the world to spend. They're just strengthening left, right, and centre, aren't they? They've signed. Is it? They've signed. They've signed no one either. Look on the continent, for God's sake! Real Madrid. <laughs> Madrid have signed no one either. Here's the thing. Yes, Liverpool are not flying high in the transfer market right now. It's not going great. Yeah, the Van Dijk thing has been a bit of a disaster from a PR perspective as much as anything else. If we've gone out the way to try and make a player that they really wanted come to them and they, they kind of did that, but they've done it in a stupid way. Very, very stupid. If you're going to meet someone, don't do it on the big one in Blackpool. I'm just saying, maybe go inside. Go and do it in one of the arcades. Do it at the Tempe bingo. No one goes in there who's liable to be grasping it up. The Mohamed Salah thing, yeah, drawn out to, to the point that I'm getting really bored of talking about Mohamed Salah. Just go and spend that money, yeah. Naby K, Werner, Lacazette, all these players that Liverpool are being linked with, there seems to be no movement on them whatsoever. So yeah, I'm, look, I'm, I am, I'm, I'm, look, I'm joking, but I am wound up. It would be nice to see Liverpool actually go and make a few transfers. It would make life seem a load rosier. But you know what's really interesting? If you go on soccerbase.com, they've got a list of every transfer that's been completed in this window so far. And I'm going to let you in on something. All of those players that I mentioned that have signed for other clubs, yet yeah, because this transfer window hasn't even opened yet and those deals have been done before that, they technically class as last season signings. So no one, and I am splitting hairs of course, has technically made any signings for the 17-18 season yet. Now yes, I am absolutely massively splitting hairs on this, but this is very much like when you finish your season on footy manager and you maybe got a bit of last season's budget left and you spend it before the season ends and updates for the new season, if you get me. And that's what these teams have done. And those bits of business as they have done, are to be commended. They are absolutely to have been commended by the club because it just means that when the window's open, you're not scrapping around trying to buy every single player that you want to buy. However, what I'm also driving at is that it's not necessarily, right here, right now, the absolute be all and end all of the world. Liverpool do 100%, 1000 thousand percent a million percent whatever all the percents need to get their act together and go and buy some players <laughs> go and buy some players liverpool go and do it right now but again it is not the be all end up that it's not done right here and right now listen it's disappointing listen it's frustrating am i frustrated yes massively so and you know why i'm frustrated and you know why i'm disappointed because transfer rumors because transfer rumors because i wake up every single day and I check every single possible news outlet to try and find a glimmer of news as to what Liverpool are going to do. And because of that, it only exacerbates my annoyance at the whole lack of progress Liverpool are making on transfers. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all just switch off, sit back, feet up. Feet aren't going to come up because I've got no 
socks and shoes on and you don't need to see that. But wouldn't it be nice if we could just switch off and then bang, there's a transfer from Liverpool, done complete, come in, walk around them, he's a colossus. There's so much interest around Liverpool that everything is reported, every single stray conversation that's been overheard on the on the subway or on, on, on the commute or in, in cafes and what have you is being reported in one publication or another and some of that will be real and some of it will be complete and utter bollocks but at this point in time it's very difficult to discern the difference i'm sure you can all agree let's take a deep breath let's try to enjoy the summer <laughs> let's try to enjoy it to the best of our ability and trust that I don't think that whether you have an opinion on anyone at any level in Liverpool, I don't believe that any one of them wants to be shit at this. And sometimes you can't help it. If you shit at something, you shit at something, aren't you? For all the will in the world, you're just dreadful at it. I am terrible at golf. I can literally throw a golf ball further than I can hit it with a golf club. But I'm also not paid in any capacity to play golf. The things that I am actually employed to do I am very good at doing, and most people in those kind of worlds, when you are a specialist employed to do a specialist job, you tend to be okay at what you do. Hopefully, hopefully, who knows? I don't know, you don't know, none of us really know. So ultimately, let's kick back, try and enjoy the ride. It's a shit ride. But anyway, two weeks to go until the transfer window opens. A lot can happen between now and then, or nothing, or absolutely nothing. <laughs> How many players do Liverpool need to sign before the window opens for you to be calm about this situation if it's something that's winding you up? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, it's hot as balls in here, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my day and the sunshine in wonderful Liverpool. And hopefully Liverpool will unveil some signings soon so that we can all relax and look forward and start to say what the frig's going to be happening this summer, next season and beyond. Anyway, just my thoughts on the transfer window and the activity and inactivity that's happened so far for what it's worth. Cheers.